Hi everyone, welcome to Monthly Projects number 6 and this month we decided to draw females. This has been a subject I've wanted to do for a while because personally I've always found it very hard and very challenging to draw females. So I thought this would be a good challenge for this month and um, we've got so many awesome submissions here. I just, I love checking all these out. So I'm hoping doing this project has helped a lot of you as well and kind of understanding, you know, anatomy of, a, of the female body and, you know, just the figure in general and it, it can be quite different from drawing a male. So I even tried to join in on this female challenge as well. Um, I've done a Harley Quinn here. This is for my Batman Rogues Gallery artwork series that I've been doing. Uh, but yeah, this is where I was at, but I didn't get to finish it, didn't get it there in time. So uh, let's dive into all the general submissions and then we'll get into the critiques. First off is William, and he has done a really cool Walking Dead piece here. I love The Walking Dead as well. I've, I've watched, like, most of the show. And, um, yeah, this is awesome. It really does look like Michonne. And um, you've got her two zombies up the back. Very polished as well. Like, it looks very, um, very professional in a way as well. So, well done on that. I think this has turned out really great. The anatomy looks spot on. She looks really good, very fit. And, um, yeah, just, just good overall. And um, it really does look like her. You've got a good likeness going on there as well. So, yeah, well done to that one. I like that one. That's awesome. Always love seeing your work, William. So that's really cool to see. Thanks. And this one is from Phoenix. And uh, this is really cool. I love the energy in this. The pose is uh, so dynamic. And um, also, the you know, you've just really polished this and just made it just look very clean and I just I really I love this kind of style and um, yeah this is just popping popping out I love it I think overall you've done a really good job of her anatomy and the and the pose choice is really cool and the the hair as well looks um, really nice and feminine I love the flow and it's got a lot of body in it so it looks very you know a lot of volume and stuff so um, yeah you've done a really good job of the, all of that overall great work so this one's from Ty and uh, yeah, this is really cool. I, I really like this pose. You've got a nice pose there. Very, very good figure. Um, it's very striking and, and very attractive as well. You've done a really good job of this. I like that. And that's, that's Psylocke from um, X-Men or the, the X-Men universe. So um, I like the colors as well you've got here. So um, she always has had those really nice neon kind of colors. So yeah, you've done a really good job. Nice work, Ty. Here we go. This one's from Jordan, and I've really been wanting to uh, like talk about this one because Jordan has been keeping us all updated in uh, the Discord through Patreon, through my Patreon, and um, yeah, he's been showing us all the progress shots on this, and you know, getting some tips and some feedback to kind of make it better. And yeah, this this was really interesting to see from the start. Yeah, I overall I love this. I think it's a really high intense action. You've got Ahsoka; she's got her lightsaber, and she's just really kicking ass through here i love that i especially love this guy just getting sliced in half through there and, and that effect it just looks really cool um you know and it's all kind of blurred like blurry action scene and uh this pose is awesome and she looks great i like the anatomy i think it's all good yeah nice details as well you've you know you, you didn't really hold back so uh well done i like the face Overall, you've done a really great job there, Jordan, and you should be really proud of yourself with that picture. So I can't wait to see some more from you. So uh, yeah, I really think you've got a lot of potential. Next up, we've got Sai, and uh, this is Wonder Woman, and that looks really cool. I like the, uh, you've got a pretty cool pose going on here, and uh, that sword, I like the detailing you've done as well. You've got some really nice details and some textures I can see through there as well. So you've got some nice detailing through the armor. Very, very cool. Um, yeah, nice work. I really like this one. I've always, I've always been a fan of Wonder Woman. And uh, yeah, you should be very proud of yourself. Yeah, I, th I think you're going to do great. So I, I can't wait to see some more from you. This one's from Patrick. He's done Poison Ivy. Check this out. This is a nice pose. You've got a very... I like these kind of, you know, straight on poses of her. And she's got, you know, she's just kind of drawing up her powers with her, with her arms. Um, yeah, because you can read that pose from a mile away. It looks It looks great. So... Um, very pretty as well. I like the face. You've done a really good job of that female um, female face there. And yeah, the, the body I think looks good. It looks really good. Um, yeah, really good work. I like seeing that. That's, that's awesome. This one's from Obi. And uh, yeah, Obi's actually submitted two pictures. I don't usually take two pictures, but let's, let's roll with it because, I mean, check this out. You've got Spider-Gwen over here. We've got Jean Grey. 
But yeah, these are really well drawn. I like the uh, the style that you've got going on. I really think you've got a lot of potential as well. So awesome work, Obi. Next up is Juan, and he has done Wonder Woman. I always love seeing some Wonder Woman stuff. So uh, yeah, let's check this out. It's really well drawn. I like the pose. You've got a really cool kind of striking pose there. She's just kind of, you know, looking all tough and very heroic, looking off into the distance. And it's always good to see stuff from you, man. I, I love it. I'm, I can see you uh, progressing. as uh, Every time you submit something, I'm seeing you do something better. Yeah, definitely keep it up. Awesome stuff, mate. Next up, we've got Jaya. And uh, this one, this is another Wonder Woman one here. And um, yeah, really cool pose. Nice and striking, coming straight at us. And I like the whole cinematic kind of setup you've got going on. Looks like kind of like a blurred background, like some high action has been going on. Overall, nicely done. And uh, yeah, no, I can't wait to see some more from you. Next up is Gabrielle. And uh, this is a submission here for... Uh, I think that's Samus, is that right? I, I'm, I, I haven't actually played those games myself, but I think it's Samus from the video games. It's nice to see some video game stuff. And uh, yeah, thanks for your submission. I think that's really cool. And um, yeah, I can't wait to see some more from you. Douglas, it's uh, good to see you back. And um, yeah, this is really awesome. Look, Check it out. You've done like a full scene. This is insane. There's a lot going on, a lot to check out. I like the expression of this lady here. It's really cool. Yeah, just checking out. I always like your little Easter eggs and things like that. You got all these nice little touches. Like you just add all these extra details to just check out. So you know, takes you can take your time with the artwork. It's awesome. Like you've got a whole magazine to read. You can literally read them. Nice facial expressions. Very feminine. I like all these these female poses. Awesome work. Great to see some more from you. Next up, we've got Leo, and uh, this is a really cool kind of feminine pose as well. You've got some really cool colors going on, and uh, yeah, not really nicely drawn as well. I'm not familiar with this character, but um, I like the way she looks. She looks really cool. Nicely done, though, Leo, and uh, yeah, always looking forward to seeing some more. Next up, we've got Jay, and you've done, I think it's Hit Girl. Yeah, nice. This is awesome. I like the uh, the setup you've got going is actually really cool. Like this kind of dynamic artistry kind of background. It's, it's kind of an abstract look. And um, yeah, yeah, it's cool to see, see Hit Girl and um, nicely drawn. I like these kind of details. You've got all these. And the color choices are really cool as well. So um, yeah, no, nice work. Keep it up. Okay, so it's now time for the critiques. And uh, yeah, let's start off with Cyril. So Cyril has done this submission here and you've got the two female figures and um, I think you mentioned they were both kind of monster energy drink kind of just girls like pinup girls. So I'll focus on this area but we've got you know you've submitted some sketches as well so it's nice to see. And um, yeah overall I think these are these look really great. You've got that nice sexy kind of pinup look going on. Um, yeah they're very curvy very very attractive. You know very professional looking as well. I could People would hire you for this and like you, you surely you get paid well like because that's um that's really well done you know I could see this kind of stuff done um, in the industry so so like I said I think they look great I think the anatomy on them looks really good um, I'm just having a look so I'm just fading it back a little bit just so I can show you some stuff um, I think first off I can just see this this bum should be kind of like more like out a bit there just the, that one cheek um, and then stop there and then come down it just just a little that's just a little nitpick though it's about it's about right um but yours was just a little bit too you can see here it just comes a little bit too close there now i know we could say she's probably turning a little bit but um that cheek just felt a little off and i think it would look a bit better if it was just over a bit more in in the center and then obviously, you know, to line up with the backbone kind of thing. Um, maybe just the, the hand here would probably help to to have it just a little bit more natural. But maybe show that fourth finger. I think that would really help. Finger there. I just think this last little finger is too long. I think it needs to be just a bit, a bit smaller. And I think that would help a lot just to see that fourth finger. And I think it's just this hand here a little bit as well. It's it's mostly there. You're you're really close with it. So it's just this fingernail here is too far over. It's too far over that way. So we kind of need it to be more like front, like right at you. But I'd probably bring them knuckles up a little higher, just a little bit higher. The fingers just kind of need to be a little bit more, um, probably just a little thicker. Maybe just a little bit more motion in them as well. So I zoom out and um, if I hide mine, you can kind of see the the changes slightly there. So so the other problems I can probably see is just probably with this head. I'll just show you. 
And I'm going to liquefy it a bit just to show what we could fix. Now, I think the back it definitely needs a lot more volume in that hair, just up the back. Okay, so just going through liquefy a little bit. So I'll just zoom, I'll just zoom out. So, um, so that was before, and then that's after. So you can kind of see what I've done there. So what we had on the before was I just noticed that you know because you're going to have your, your your ear is there. You know you got your jawline, but the skull will probably be about comes out about there and then then up like you know and around. And I just, I just thought that maybe her hair is probably a little bit too close to where the skull is. See this hair here? It's just like just resting on it. So I moved that out and now it looks like the hair is coming out from where the skull might be. So it's always good to kind of think about where the actual skull is first then, and then I do my hair kind of flowing out. That's kind of how I work. But that's just that one there. So um, before and after, you can see here again. So before... And after, so what I did with the eye, I'll just show you. So that eye there I had to make it a bit bigger. The eyebrow was kind of a bit too, see the eyebrow is kind of really short and it just kind of stops there. Um, you can, it's okay to have that kind of off the head, like around as if it's kind of wrapping around, it disappears around the side of the head. So that's okay. So I've tried to do that kind of thing. So the eye is a bit bigger and uh, yeah. And I just fixed the nose and the nostrils a bit and the lips tried to make them a bit more natural and the ear was a bit too too big and long before and, and come down a bit so we just kind of fix that like that you can actually make the pupils a little bigger if you want to we'll have that eye shine go into the pupil that's always nice so there we go I just kind of fix that that eye bit there so um yeah also this bridge of the nose sorry uh, the bridge of the nose there looks a bit too straight down so I just kind of brought it back and had it tuck in the head a bit more so yeah but you know what, this other face, I can't really fault it, to be honest. I think that looks great. I'd probably just make that other eye. Yeah, so there we go. So that was before and that's after. That's probably all I would do on that other eye. I think that they just need to kind of be the same and a bit bigger. I'd probably also um, fix that nostril. Let me just fix that super quick too. So something like that. So I'll just show you again. So we'll go before and then after. And again, I just, so like I said before, just with the bum and the hands, I think that's the only only other problem. Apart from that, man, I, I really can't, I can't fold it. I think everything else is great. I think you've done a really good job. And like I said, you you should be getting looking for work with this kind of quality stuff. So um, great work. Next up, we've got Carlton. And uh, yeah, this is really cool. You've got Catwoman and Black Cat as well. They're kind of clashing together. So um, yeah, that's that's awesome. I like these uh, these poses are really great too, especially this Catwoman one here. Um, that's really awesome. Yeah, my only issue I would say is uh, like you've done all this great line work and all these these great poses, but it's just really hard to see, and it's because of your background. It's too strong. It's it's very uh, very solid. All these solid blacks are connecting with your solid black lines on the characters, especially with um, their dark suits. So everything is blending together. So when you zoom out, it's kind of really hard to read what's going on. So I'll help you fix that. I'll show you what it could be. Okay, so what I've done is I've just cut out these characters separately from the background. So um, maybe I'll just even start by lightening up the background completely. So with the levels, like, there we go. So I've just, anything that's, that was black I've turned to like a nice kind of bluish tone now so it's kind of like these parts up here that are blue um, now let's make use of these highlights down here you got these nice orange smoky effects like let's put some nice glowy effects behind your characters to help them pop you really want them to lift off grab that blue from the sky and start putting some of those kind of tones behind her there we go so do you see what I mean um, once you lift them off now we can actually see these silhouetted poses like you can actually see the pose really clearly um another thing that i'd really like to see is um especially with this hand it's almost merged um uh, with her body completely so i can't you can only just see the line work of her hand there i don't even know if i can actually i'm gonna try and lighten it to see what happens um don't worry i'm not gonna keep it like that but i just i'm hoping i can get some line work back you can see the hand there I really want to see that hand, but without that, it's almost, it's just gone. 
So I'd really love to see some line work back somehow. Um, but you know what? I don't even mind her like lightened up like that. Like, but yeah, I, I think that that's worth doing as well. Same with this suit. Um, if she was lightened up, you'd see a bit more of her figure as well and the outlines. Because um, the, the problem is that this black rope is almost the same color as her body as well. So that's all, it's also hard to tell that she's wrapped up in rope. Do you know what though, dude? That's really all there is. I can't, I've got no complaints about the body proportions at all. Like, I admire that. I actually wish I could draw um, anatomy of the female that good because that is great. You've really done a good job of that that um, Catwoman pose. That's top-notch. Um, I've got no complaints about that anatomy there. Um, you've got this really cool cartoony style and I love her facial expression. <laughs> it's great. So, um... Yeah, let's, let's have a look at a before and after, and I'll just show you what we've done. So that's before, and that's after. So before and after. If you want to have your characters pop and like be readable and like have the poses understandable um, and not lost, then I would definitely make them pop some way, whether you've got... Like you can play around with it, get creative. Like you've got this smoke in the background that's coming from the buildings, from Gotham. Have the, have the smoke actually, like, think about it and have it all kind of bigger, larger scale smoke that's kind of behind them. And it helps them kind of pop out a bit more, you know. Use, the, use those kind of lighter effects, even if you have building lights and things like that. Uh, but, yeah, so I think, I think that would help a lot. I love this picture and it's a shame to see it so dark. I think that we would, I just think that's, it's just too dark and it's too hard to see. So let's lighten them up. Let's just... Think of that kind of stuff, and I think you'll be your work is amazing. I love it. I absolutely love it. I can't wait to see some more. Thanks, Carlton. Okay, next up we've got Apex Arts, and he's done the villain from um, Star Wars Fallen Order, which is really awesome. I like this. Yeah, nice job on this. Very good female pose. She looks very uh, imposing. All right, well, let's dive into the critique a little bit. So, so first thing I can see is probably just this arm here is just a little too short. It kind of stops about there. It just seems a little short. Something's going on there. Same with the other one as well. So there we go. I just thought I'd mark that out. Um, so if you look a bit closer, um, I'll just hide that. So just here, you can see that the the hand that it's it's really just your forearms that can, and then the wrist that connect to the hand. They're just a little bit sh too short. So I'll just show you. So. It should be more like that, um, and then come like this This section right here in the forearm should be the one that's just a little bit longer. Um, yours were just a little short, that's all. You see this one here especially? Just that section is just too short, so just marking it over so you can kind of see there. And um, yeah, so just a bit longer, probably bigger hand up the back there as well. It just needs to be a little bit bigger. And uh, and then that'd be that'd be pretty right. And just one more thing, I'd mention. I like the way you've got this hourglass figure. You've you've definitely got the female uh, figure there, which looks really good. Um, it's just this bottom part where the legs go. So you know you've got that fine. Um, but it's just this leg here is just a little bit too uh, thick. Like just a bit too thick here and and here. Uh, this side's fine. Okay, so that's fine. It's just these parts here look a bit too, uh, a little swollen or something. Okay, so I figured it out. So um, I just pushed the leg forward a little bit more, but um, yeah, definitely thinned it out. Um, so I just thinned out the leg and uh, I've just brought it forward. So it's like moving in this direction. So it's kind of like she's stepping forward. But I also had this little bit down here. Um, let's just shade it. And that's the back leg kind of folding back. It's always nice to kind of show that and it, just have it like silhouetted out or something. Um, and that'll be a really good way to show that she's, you know, taking that step. It's okay to show that back leg. You've got a really good thing here. And um, I'd probably get this bit of armor and probably just lift that off a bit more. So have it still there where, where you had it. But let's let's have it not like a bit bigger. Let's, let's have it like up over here and then down. And I think that'd be maybe even the same on the other side. So have that up have it like really lifting off the shoulder so it actually looks a bit more like armor i think that'd be great and the face is pretty good um that it looks a lot like her I, I know what she looks like only comments i would probably say is to tidy up the line work a little bit more would probably be um a really good way to 
you know, bring it across a bit more. It's just a little rough, just a little bit rough. But I, other than that, I think she's great. Okay, so I've just gone through and done some line work just to show you um, so we could have a bit of a look. So if you, I'll just lighten up that back one just a little bit more so we can see. There we go. Um, all right, so that's that's the original. But if you just look around like these parts and the eyes and stuff, it's just a little bit too rough. The, uh, the It's kind of got that grainy pencil look. Um, so we want to try and you know tidy it up a bit. We'll go with more of an inked look. And um, I think that would really benefit. So uh, I've just kind of tidied it up a bit there and shown you how it could work. The ear as well, especially around this area here, um, it's always nice to kind of focus on the, the ear and make sure we get that nice detail going, whereas it's just a little bit too um, bit too simple through there. So and especially that jawline there is a bit... Um, we just want to make sure that we get a nice smooth flow going through all the, all the work and, and just tidy it tidying it up really and um and then you'll really your work will just go to that extra level you know you'll just amp up to that next level so yeah overall we've got the we've got the face there just you know and that that could flow through the entire body as well just tidy up with some nice lines so you can see here we've just fixed up you know the shoulder pads you've got the arms it's really just those wrists and the hands and uh and just that leg and um you're good to go like that's that's awesome so um yeah, thanks. Thanks, Apex. That's that's awesome work and um, always looking forward to seeing more from you, mate. And next we've got Andrew. And um, man, you've really, you've upped your game. You've definitely improved. Look at this. I mean, this is your one of your first designs, I think, when you first got into the critiques. You know, look at your line work here compared to where you are now. Like your line work has definitely improved because you've got nice, it's a little thicker and bolder. And you're starting to do more of the tapered off kind of, you know, thin lines and then thick lines. So, yeah, well well done, Andrew. I'm really impressed with that. And um, it's good to see you improving. So, yeah, I like the pose. She's got a, a bit of attitude. So this is really cool to see. A bit of a cowboy girl. And, um, yeah, nice work. Let's dive into a bit of a critique for you. So I'm going to do a bit of a liquefy. And I think this will help me fix up a few things. So um, definitely these legs and the feet are too big. Um, so what I'll do is I'm just going to shrink those down so we can get them to a nice size and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, so just starting with the legs. So uh, that's what it was before and uh, and that's what it is now just after liquefying it a bit. So we'll just zoom in a bit so you can have a look. Um, so before and then after. It was just a little bit too chunky through there so we just kind of fix that up a bit. And um, just some wonky, just the lines, we just need to tidy them up a bit. So I just kind of smoothed them out and formed them into like the high heel kind of shape. So so now with the body, I just want to show you a couple of things we should fix. Um, so the shoulder, it, just through this area here is a bit, um, a bit off. You can see this kind of bump through the arm there and stuff like that. So if we just have the shoulder, it's just an anatomy problem. So if we just have the shoulder where it should go probably about here we'll just put some circles in for it and then you know the neck muscle and then the neck so like that um but then have the bicep come from under the armpit you know right under the armpit and then when it comes to the boobs we'll have them like uh kind of coming out like this and around but then they kind of come back as a full circle and they'll eventually kind of like have a bit of a nick here that'll connect with the uh the shoulder but not up in the shoulder just under it under the shoulder into the armpit and uh but this this breast over here we kind of need to make that kind of a little bit more rounded but also put some weight into it have it kind of being pulled down with gravity a little bit more so so look at that bicep have the shoulder about here i reckon and then have that kind of come up and i know it's going to be covered by hair but when you're drawing female poses, um, draw the body underneath first. And trust me, when you put the hair in later, everything reads a lot better. Like the pose will come through. Um, if you draw the hair first and uh, not worry about what's underneath, that's when we start to see errors and things like that. So, in this glove, have that kind of read a bit more of a like it's coming at you. Do you know what I mean? And then you can have it look like it's actually pointing towards us, which will which will make you know that kind of work a little bit better. 
So you can kind of see, I'll just hide that. So it's just through these, this arm bit here, and then we just needed to kind of fix that up a little bit more there. And also with the face, um, I think it's, it's overall not too bad. Like it's, it's pretty, she's very like a pretty face. It's good. Um, let's, let's just fix it up a little bit. But as we get here, I'd like to see this cheekbone is, is just pushed in a bit too much. So that's a good example. So I'll show you, um, that's before the face. And after you can see, I've just kind of pushed it out a little bit more of the red lines. Sorry, it's hard to read there, but um, so before and after, before and after. And you can see just having that cheekbone and stuff pulled out a little bit more. It's a bit more, uh, a bit nicer. So, so I got rid of this bump in the hat and I uh, pulled it down and around. So. so overall, I'll just show you again. So we just had these kind of changes here. So um, it's probably a little hard to see if I just, yeah. There's that one, and also it was just the legs as well. So the legs, and then after. So there we go, Andrew. I hope that helps. And um, yeah, good to see you improving so well. I can't wait to see some more. Okay, next up we've got Abby. Um, I really love seeing you progress, Abby. You've done, look at this. This is great. Like, you've really improved since the last time I've seen uh, all your work. So this is one of your first designs to me. And I mean, check this out, and then compare it to now. I mean, look at this, you've really, you've really improved. Like you've got this really dynamic action pose and you've been taking a lot of notes on board. I can see your line work starting to improve and um, it's a lot more colorful as well. And I just think compared to last time, like you've really upped the game. I just love seeing all your improvements. All right, so let's, let's dive into a bit of a critique here. So overall, great pose. I think this is a really good choice for a pose. Um, it's just some things we need to work on. So. It's more with the anatomy. All we need to do, I think, is just, because uh, I know it's actually a tricky pose, so let's just draw the waist in. Okay, so I've just gone through and drawn up some anatomy over your, um, over your picture, and um, the red is the only thing that's the problem. So anything that's not red is of left, and it's okay. Um, it's just through the body and stuff. It's just a little bit too wide through there. The, it needs a little bit more consistency with the lines as well. But when I put it on, you can see we just got to tuck that in a little bit more, make the pose nice and strong, and uh, and then you're right. So look, I'm just going to show you back and forth. Um, the head, I just thought that was back just a little bit too far. That way you get a bit more of that kind of arc like this, you know, with the head. Um, but without it, it's kind of the, it's it's just going back a little bit more. But it makes it a little bit more dynamic. But um, yeah, and just the hand, just a little bit. I just fixed that up a little bit. Um, not too bad. But if we just worked on these fingers just a little bit better, I think you'd be okay. You see, because these fingers aren't too bad. They're pretty good. It really does feel like they're pulling back on that string a bit. Um, and it's just the anatomy. If you just worked on that a little bit more, um, a bit more studying on that, I think you'd be really good. It'd be it'd be um, helping you a lot more. And another thing I just want to check is the head. So um, basically, I'm just going to, let me just size this up a bit. I feel like uh, she needs a little bit more of a skull. So I'm just going to. So with the head, I just kind of fixed that up. So I'll just show you before we had that. And then, so basically, it's a bit too squared off here. See those square edges? Let's try and avoid those a little bit more. And we'll go for more softer, rounded edges. So, um what I mean is like, let's do something a bit more like, like this. I'll show you. Let's try and aim for more edges that are more, a bit more like, you know, curve, put some curve in there and then round that up a bit. And then, uh, the chin as well, like, you know, stop at the chin. You can have a tiny little bit of a, a squarish bit, but not, we don't want any, I don't want to have any more of that kind of stuff. I don't think that's a good way to go. So let's have it like that and then slowly bend it up and around. You see how it's slightly curved. Try and aim for a bit more of that and your work will um, definitely benefit from that as well. And just a little bit more bolded lines around the outsides. Because I really love what you did here in this one. See how your lines were getting nice and thick through here and you've got uh, thick lines and then you'll, you'll start to go up to thin, you know. So especially through here, look, you've got nice bold lines on the outside and then you've got some nice thin details on the insides and stuff like that. I'd love to see you do more of that. So, you know, like go nice and, you can go nice and bold under the where the cheek is here. So a bit bit bolder and then go a bit more thinner up through through there and then back. 
And I think that would really, really benefit your art. I loved what you did in that last one. So um, try and do that a bit more as well. So again, I just want to show you just um, so the, after we've kind of made that, we got rid of that, that square kind of edge, the squarey thinner parts, and we've just kind of smoothed them out, made them a little bolder. And I think that'll really, that'll really help you a lot. And what I did here was I basically made more of a forehead and um, as if there's more of a skull underneath the hair. And it's because uh, there it was just a little bit too small of a, an area here. And she's a bit too broad around here. So we kind of thinned that out and made it a little bit more like there's a skull underneath there. And it's just a better proportioned head. And I also made the ear bigger as well. I forgot to mention that. So the ear was just a bit too small before. But apart from that, I mean, look how close you're getting to like, you know, you're so close and you're doing a really good job. And I love everything you've been doing. So I love seeing all your progress. Abby, um, keep it up. I love it. And last up, we've got Jason, and he has done Scarlet Witch here. This is looking pretty cool, mate. This is awesome. I always like a bit of Scarlet Witch art and a bit of Marvel art, so that's cool. Uh, yeah, so let's let's dive into the critique a bit. So overall, you've got a very, very nice pose here. I, I recognize this pose. This is really good. And um, yeah, you've done like, you've got some nice flow going on. And uh, yeah, it's a really cool action-y pose. So I'm just going to do a quick liquefy over, and we'll just see if that can kind of help us fix up some stuff. First thing I'm kind of seeing is overall, I think the pose is just the bottom half is a bit too big, bit too, uh, bit too chunky. So I'm going to take that down and then I'm going to get the top half and we're going to bring that forward a bit more. And then this bottom foot is a little bit too small as well. So I'm just going to bring that. We're going to put some, put some mass in that a little bit. So if I zoom in a little bit, so that was, that was before. And that's after and basically what it's doing is it's because I know the pose and it's just kind of we need to have the top half kind of coming at us a little bit and the bottom half's kind of kicking back. So that's before and then after you see what I mean. So let's go round two and I'll just quickly uh, do a couple more fixes while that's there. Okay, so there's the second round of liquify. Um, so that was before and then that's after so before and after. You kind of see the uh, the changes I've made there. So especially around the face, um, it's just a bit the the eye was off um, and the other eye. It's a little bit they're a bit too far apart. So we just kind of centered those a bit more and placed them in. The ear was a bit too high before, and yeah, overall just the face needed a bit more structure. So the the cheekbone here, I kind of had a bit of I placed in a cheekbone to come in, and. Um, I kind of thinned out the wrist there and put that hand back just a little bit. Now the torso, I kind of fixed the, the breast area and the, um, we call it the ribs. Kind of put some shape in there and the hips now and the leg. So, so overall we've just got, so that's before, that's when we started and then that's where we are now. So let me just show you, I'm just going to draw out the anatomy real quick. So basically we want to have a hip. This is just going to help understand. We need to make sure we see that other shoulder as well up up the back there. So we need to kind of see that and then the bicep up there and then the forearm that goes up to the back. And then, yeah, so we kind of need to see that bicep here. So we need to see that first. And that's really even a tricep underneath, kind of have a tricep hiding underneath there and then the armpit there. Um, the hand's not too bad. We're going to need that pinky to be a little bit bigger. I think overall the hand's probably just a tiny bit big for the female. But because, um, you know, they don't really have the large hands. So we kind of, if that was just a bit shorter, we'd be okay. And then we also kind of want to see the calf on that other leg in the back there. Even if that's just faded out, silhouetted a bit there. And then you can see the actual foot. So that's a pretty cool way to do it. Okay, so that's that's mostly the, uh, so there we go, that's the anatomy kind of structure that I'd like to see, you know, with the hips and then kind of comes out. So there's your middle belly button and it comes up. You've got to remember, so put that center line in there if you want to, to get a bit of better of an idea of where that goes. So let's go to the original and I'll show you. So we'll zoom out, so hide that. So that's the original. If you look at this leg here, the shading here as well is just a bit off. Keep it nice and soft through there. So keep that nice and soft. Um, and yeah, you'll be okay. All right, so that's before. 
and that's after. So we've got the character coming towards us a little bit more, and then the bottom half's pushed back. So before and after, before and after. Um, so yeah, just a bit more definition through the torso and the shoulders, and um, and then you'd be okay. And then the face as well, just kind of work on that. But um, yeah, overall, good work. And um, yeah, I, I, I love seeing your stuff too, Jason. So um, yeah, send some more through. I'm looking forward to seeing what you do next. The next submission is from Brett. And uh, yeah, you've done this cool female pose here. Nice, got a bit of attitude going on there. And, you know, I really like the way you've kind of polished this one off. You've got some really nice bold outlines. Like you've done some nice line work there. It's all really well held together. Very bold. And um, yeah, you've, you've done a good job of that. So um, definitely keep that up. I like the style there. I know you said you had a bit of practice from one of my poses. It's been good. And yeah, I, I like the look overall. So um, yeah, good work on that. Let's jump into the critique a bit. So I'll just do a quick liquefy. And um, this is always a really good way to kind of adjust the pose a little bit more. I think it's just the leg just seems a little bit off just the placement. Um, so I'm going to try and just tuck that one in a bit more. So there we go. I've probably changed it up a bit too much, but that's okay. I've kind of just brought her leg back a bit just to kind of match that attitude with the arms crossed. But yeah, I just kind of kicked her leg back a little bit more. She's kind of standing on that one a little bit and this one's more relaxed. She's kind of pushing it out a little bit there. But um, So that's kind of a good way to do that. And uh, I think it'd be nice to see, you know, yeah, the, a little bit of definition in the feet. You see, because before they're just a little bit too... It's kind of almost like a hoof, you know. It's, it's a bit too... There's not a lot of shape in there of the foot. So we kind of just had to, I had that foot kind of come out more and now it looks like there's a heel and she's standing on it a little bit better. So, And then I think the only other problem, I, th I would just like to fix up these lips a little bit. So I'm just going to put a little bit more shape there. And then I want that kind of lip to come up and then over. So it's just got a little bit more of a rounded shape rather than them sharp edges. We kind of want to remove them sharp edges a bit more. And uh, especially underneath here, I just want to kind of get rid of that bit and just keep it nice and round and simple. Just so it's not so bumpy. There's too, I think there's a few too many bumps. Um, so that's before and that's after. So before and after. And another thing you can do, it's always nice to kind of shade the top lip. So kind of like, I'm just going to grab that really quick. And I'm just going to down the uh, hue set, like the lightness. I'm just taking down the lightness, so darkening that one. But let's lighten the bottom one. Just, I like this little trick. It's a very simple one, uh, but it's it's always really nice to see. So I'm just going to now lighten the bottom lip, and that's just going to help. It's kind of like a shading technique because the top lip is always shadowed a little bit because it's the one that's folding down but then the bottom lip is catching all the light that's coming from above so that was before and then that's after i know it's very subtle so before after before after um you can even add just an extra little shadow just if you want to make it more obvious like that there so before after before after so that's just another little trick um, and I think the other thing is probably just the nose. I'd like to see a little bit more structure in that. It's just a little bit too, it's kind of just like a couple of nicks like that. We need to make sure that we, you can go a little bit bolder as well. I think it just needs a little bit more confidence in it and that's all it needs. So you can even just keep it as one big line and we'll get rid of that little bump there and like that. You can even just, yeah, keep it like that. And then up you know and then that way it's a nice simple nose nothing too major and it's just just nice and simple is usually a good way to go and we can probably get rid of these little little black lines under the eyes there they kind of come across as wrinkles we don't really want to have not like any wrinkles on her so we want to make her look nice and nice and smooth so there we go so before and after so you see the nose and then those eyelashes I know they're eyelashes but um, yeah so before and after there we go and um, yeah I think that's mostly it I'll probably just bring that eyebrow in just a little bit more and then over a bit more I reckon just to make it nice a little bit bigger there 
and that's pretty good. And I actually, I really like the eyes. I think they're, they're pretty good. You've got nice big kind of cartoony eyes. I like that. We we'll probably round out this pupil to be a little bit more circle shaped. Um, same with that one there. Just kind of rounding them out. And you know what? And I think your line work is really nice. This black line in the neck, let's, let's kind of fade that back a bit more. Just like that. You can even get rid of it if you want to. So we'll just get rid of it and keep it as that consistent kind of shading that you have. Um, and you can also, if you want to, because the chin, you can have a little bit of a darker outline just under the chin. Not too heavy, but just enough. And that'll resemble, you know, a bit of darkness under the chin. So we could do something like that. And I think that's pretty cool. So I'll just zoom out. So that's before and then after. Let's zoom into the face again. So before and then after. It's just a bit of tidying really. That's all it is. A bit of tidying up. And one more thing we can do just to finish it off. I get the dodge tool and I'm setting it to highlights. And I'm just going to go over your entire character now. Nice and big, soft brush. And I'm just going to go swoop and just give it a, a nice run over with with that. Might even set the mid-tones now, not shadows because we want to keep them. And um, I'm just going to go right over the top. So right over. And what this is doing, it's just a nice little effect. If You, you can still keep the real simple kind of shading, but doing this little uh, like soft overhaul of it is going to kind of bring the character to life just a little bit more gives it some energy and a bit lighter you know so if i go before it's what it was before and now so before and then now so do you see what i mean we'll zoom in again and do it so before and then now i think it's just adds a little bit more um you know brightens everything up a little bit so so that's good if you really want to, get that dodge tool again. Start highlighting some parts that you think, like you can add a bit of a soft shading technique if you want to. Sorry, I'm gonna set it to highlights though. So a soft shading technique, so on the nose, top of the head, and cheekbones. Let's just do that for now. So cheekbones, and that's it. And then maybe a overall face one. I don't want to lighten it up too much, but there. And then the top of the arms, you know, across the chest. That's just before I started doing those little extra highlights. And then now. So that, and now. So it's really kind of just adding a, a kind of a lighting technique to it that you could add if you wanted to. So that's before, and that's now. So before, and now. So you can see it's just kind of lightening everything up giving it a bit more pop, if you want to say, and um, yeah, it's a little bit more bubbly, I don't know, like a you know, cartoony kind of vibe to it. So I hope that helps, Brett. Um, yeah, nice work. Really nice to see you improving as well. So uh, yeah, I look forward to seeing some more from you. Thanks. All right, that's it. That's that's today's critiques and all the submissions from the last month's monthly challenge uh, for females. And I think that was really good. We've, we've had a lot of submissions there, a lot of really cool characters as well. So um, I love seeing all this. And uh, thanks, everyone, for submitting. I'm looking forward to the next month. I've just announced that it's the uh, Draw It Again challenge. So basically, you're going to find an old piece of artwork that you've done when you started as an artist, even if it was from when you were a kid, like a scribble drawing or a stick figure, whatever. And um, yeah, basically you're going to draw it again today and you're going to try and see how much you've improved. Just, just draw that character again and compare them, compare them today and you see how good you have improved over the years. I think that's a really good way to, um, to do it. For example, I mean, this is the banner that I did, but this was my picture here originally from about 2008 and then I did it again here in about 2012, I think. And um, yeah, that's, that's just the jump there, that kind of thing, you know, find an old picture and do it again. You know, even if it, it doesn't, obviously it doesn't have to be, this is when I started as digital art, but if you had one that was just scribbles or sketches, whatever, and then draw it as a fully fleshed, detailed piece to the highest level that you can, it's, it's a really good challenge. So um, I'm looking forward to that one. All right, everyone, thanks again for all your submissions, and um, yeah, I'm looking forward to the next one. All right, see ya.